going to install my new dishwasher, which is right here, and it goes in this hole here. It's hardwired. I will have to install the water line on it, and that's going to need some tape, some plumbing tape. This piece here will come off. And I've got to punch out the plug in my uh, sink disposal and get that ready for the drain line that is attached to the back of the dishwasher. So this will be water in, the drain line is water out, and then the power. We'll slip the dishwasher into this hole, turn the water on, check for leaks, make sure... Oh, Make sure there's no leaks. I don't want any more leaks. But also, before I get started, I will turn the power off at the breaker for the wiring here because I don't want to play with live wire. I think I have already got all the packaging off of the dishwasher that it came in. There was a lot of foam, styrofoam, this, that, and the other. And I have untied... This is the drain line, very long, which is good. Um, got this untied, they had it wrapped and tied to the back of the dishwasher. Okay, the first thing that I have got to do is take this piece off of this line. This is the water line that's going to bring the hot water from the sink into the dishwasher. And I'm using the line off of my last dishwasher because it wasn't that old and I didn't want to buy a new one. And I don't need this piece, so I'm going to take it off. I've got a pair of channel locks somewhere, but of course I couldn't find them. definitely save this piece because you never know when you're going to need something like that again. A little piece of tape stuck in there. goodness this thing is light and my floor is slick. I'm going to try to lay this over on its side. I can't, I can't lay it on its back because of that drain line sticking out there but I'm going to see if I can lay it on its side so I can reach that uh, set of threads. This is flat so I'm going to turn it over this side. So this is what I need to put the tape on. enough. We shall see. Okay, this is the compartment where 
the wiring goes. And all I'm going to do is match up, match up all the wires. I've got to put, I've got to put a little fitting in here. The house wire is going to come through here and I'm going to match up the wires and tuck them all in there, but I've got to get that fitting. All right, this is an electrical connector. I'm gonna put this on to protect the wires that's coming from the house so that this sharp opening that's in this box does not cut the wires. That's going to protect the wires when I slide those through. I did use my meter to make sure that there was no power on that wire coming out of the house, even though I turned it off at the panel. Always good to double check and make sure. This is going to go through that connector. Now what I'm going to do is just tie all these wires together. White to white, black to black, and green to green. And then I'm going to put a wire nut on them. Now one thing the book says to do that I never would have done, have never done before, it shows taping the wires from back a little bit all the way to the wire nut. I guess in their mind, this is from the manufacturer, got to keep the wires from coming out. And I would normally not have done that, but that's what the instructions in the book say. And I'm going to do it because if I have any problems with this dishwasher, don't want them to say that I did not follow instructions and wire it properly. I think it's going to take more wire, more tape than what I just cut. That way, if I ever have a problem, they can't say that I did not follow instructions. Now I'm going to carefully tuck all of this wiring back in this case. Which one do I want to start with? Now all I've got to do is put the cover on. Okay, I've got the cover put on. I've got the drain hose through the hole and I need to run this one through the hole as well. This power cord is extremely short. It's going to be tricky standing this dishwasher up with the cord as tight as it is. But I think I'm going to tape the cord so that it doesn't get pinched. I'm just going to tape it to the cabinet so that I don't pinch it when I stand it up because it goes in this channel here. Now, I'm ready to push it back. One thing I didn't mention was I already checked for level on the cabinet. I checked the floor behind it the floor is level, the legs on this is level, so I'm going to make a 
assumption that it's going to stay level. That might be dumb on my part, but it was the only way I knew to do it. And I'm just going to take the slack out of these hoses. I don't have anybody in here to pull the slack up. So we're going to have to do it a little at a time. <laughs> All I can do is slide back and forth. I don't want to pinch either one of those hoses. This is a very snug fit. My husband came home just in time. I was about to hook up the plumbing, but he decided to do it in himself. But it's pretty straightforward. The, um, let's see, this drain line is the big gray one and then the water line is the small skinny one and it's pretty straightforward the drain line just comes up you have to make a loop according to the manual and just bring it up and it just hooks into the gar um, waste disposal for the sink with just a metal clamp and the water line itself the little silver line it goes over and just hooks into the hot water line. It's very simple as long as you have the correct connections. And when we installed the new cabinets and did the uh, remodel for the sink, we made sure that we added a new um, handle, a, a shut off for the water down there that had the little area where the dishwasher would plug into. It's a really um, simple, well, it can be a little complicated, it's tedious, but um, it's not that hard. Anybody can do their own dishwasher, they don't need to hire somebody, and it's not that hard as long as you have all the tools and the parts that you need, because the dishwasher does not come with everything. It only comes with the drain line. It does not come with the water line. We had to supply that. It does not come with the little fitting that your electric wire goes into on the dishwasher, which just, it's a, um, a little round connector. That way the electric line does not go into a sharp opening and risk cutting that. Everything else, <clears throat> excuse me, everything else the dishwasher comes with, it comes with the mounting screws to, to mount the brackets under the bottom of the cabinet. I did mount those. I've left the bottom plate off and I've got a paper towel under there and a paper towel under the sink. Just, I'm gonna leave those there for um, a little while just to make sure that my water line here where it connects to the dishwasher does not develop a leak and then under the sink I'm just checking to make sure and so far so good I have not run the dishwasher yet but I'm about to to test the dishwasher I have a small load I've got to put some detergent in there we'll put those in there and I'm going to start the cycle and see how it goes Well, it has been a couple of days since I installed my dishwasher, and I'm happy to report that it is working perfectly. 
I left the paper towel on the floor down here just to make sure that it did not leak while I was doing loads. I've done a couple of loads of dishes now and everything is perfect. No leaks in the cabinet and no leaks on the floor. So now I can put my um, cover on the bottom, the, the toe plate down there and close that in and call it a day. I'm so happy that this worked out and now I'm back in business with a working dishwasher. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If it was of value and you liked it, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and I hope that you will hit the subscribe button and I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.